In this lesson, we're going to go over isometry. And isometry has to do with transformations. Uh, isometry involves whether or not size and orientation have been maintained. So if a shape goes under a certain transformation and the size stays the same, then there is isometry. But there are two different types of isometry. There's direct isometry and there's opposite isometry. In direct isometry, the orientation stays the same also. In opposite isometry, orientation is reversed. Okay, and what we mean by that is if we have a triangle, say A, B, C. When we read these letters clockwise, we read it as a, B, C. So if we were to do some type of transformation and then we ended up with this image, assuming it's the same size and we had this result, if we write it starting with A clockwise, we'd still read A, B, C. So this would be direct isometry. We'll call these A prime, B prime, and C prime. This is the original triangle. If instead we started with uh, this triangle, uh, A, B, C, and we did a different type of uh, transformation, and maybe it ended up something like this, Again, assuming it's the same size, we had A, B, C. Now when we read it uh, in clockwise, starting with A, read the letters, we have A, C, B. We'll call this A double prime, C double prime, B double prime. We have A, C, B. So instead of the same order of A, B, C, we have ACB. So this is uh, an example of the orientation being reversed. This is opposite isometry. So let's take a look at some transformations and uh, the isometry that it, it has or does not have. So let's start with a, a point reflection. Point reflection has direct isometry. Okay, a translation, a translation is simply sliding uh, the shape or the original image in some direction and this also has direct isometry. Rotation. Okay, the, the size stays the same, so it's definitely isometry. But think about it, it's turned. 
If we look at a rotation, we might have a triangle like this. A, B, C. And when we rotate it, uh, say 90 degrees, B ends up over here, C on top, and A on the bottom. But when we read it, we have A, B, C. And when we read it here, we have A, B, C. When we read them clockwise, so the orientation does stay the same. So this also is direct isometry. A line reflection, however, is not direct isometry. So we have a line and we have a shape, for example, ABC. When we read it clockwise, we have ABC. But when we reflect it, A is going to be here, C is going to be here, and then B is going to be on the bottom. So now when we read it clockwise, we have ACB. So even though the size stays the same, um, it's not going to be direct isometry. It is going to be isometry but it's going to be opposite isometry. And last we have dilation. For our dilation it gets either bigger or smaller. So it is not uh, isometric, there is no isometry.